Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video we're going to take a look at replacing your TV screen with a gradient or another image to get rid of any unwanted or unattractive glare to give your images a more professional and polished look. So when it comes to replacing TV screens, I'm a much bigger fan of the gradient approach. It's subtle, it looks clean and professional, and I like the way it looks. When it comes to putting an image on the TV screen, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think it looks tacky personally, and also draws attention to the TV, and really, we don't really need to do that. The only time I would do that really personally is if it's like a home theater or something like that. I think it's appropriate. But to each his own, I'm gonna show you how to do both methods in this video. All right, let's dive into it and take a look. Alright guys, so I have an image here open in Photoshop. It's been edited already, obviously. And if you take a look at the TV screen, we have this glare and reflection going on here. And it, you know, it kind of just looks ugly. And we want to take care of that by adding a gradient in there. And also, I'll show you how to do the image. But first, let's start with the gradient. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm just going to go to new layer. So I have a new layer here. And I'm just going to take my polygonal lasso tool here. And I'm just going to zoom in here. Get around the frame of this TV. Now that I have my selection made here, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to select, I'm gonna go to modify feather. I'm gonna feather this by two, two pixels or so. And now I'm going to control click or right click onto this selection. And I'm gonna go to fill. And I wanna make sure I have color selected. Now I'm just gonna pick a color off of this TV Someone, something near black, you know, something in this area. So it's not quite black, it's close to black. And I'm gonna just hit okay. All right, so now I'm going to hit control, command D to deselect. And now we have our TV filled in with black, you know, near black, I should say. Next thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna go to the layer here that we have our uh, fill on, and then I'm gonna go control, or I'm just gonna double click on that. What we wanna go to is gradient overlay. You see, we have a gradient going on here. It already looks pretty good. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here, so you can see. All right, so you want a black to white gradient here, a basic gradient selected. Your opacity, obviously, you know, that's way too extreme. Usually it's pr pretty low, somewhere in the 20 to 30 range. I'm gonna go with about 25. And then we have our angle here, this is important. So this is where the light will be coming in and you kind of want to point this towards the light source like a window or wherever the, the glare is coming from so it looks natural and it makes sense so to the right here we have mainly the light coming from the right side so it's kind of pointing in the right direction already like if i point it to the left obviously you know it'll switch it over to the left side but i want it to come in sort of from the right high right somewhere around 25 to 30. So it looks like it's kind of coming from, from this window area here. So now the scale is kind of how spread out the gradient is. As you see, if it's not you know, low, it's a very hard edged gradient, which is not very attractive. So we want to keep this up fairly high, around 80 here. It looks pretty good to me. And that's a really nice gradient we have going on here. And it looks like the light is coming from the windows over here. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And we can take a look at this uh, full screen here. All right, so now if I turn the gradient layer off here, you can see that's the ugly reflection that we had going on before. It's pretty distracting and unattractive. So when we turn the, the gradient back on, you can see how much cleaner and nicer and professional this looks. It's just one of those little details that, you know, gives your image that edge, that more polished look. So I really like the way this looks. The other thing you could do, you could mess with uh, like the opacity here if you don't want it to be so extreme. You know, obviously you're gonna get the glare coming back through, but if you want to mix some of that in, uh, that's up to you, you know, just play around with it and get the look that you like. I, I like it 100% opacity. I just like this clean gradient look. All right, so that's really all there is to it, to replace your TV screen with a gradient overlay. It's really simple and easy to do. It only takes a minute or two, and it really gives your image a more polished look. I really think it's worth the extra time to do. All right, so now let's take a look at replacing the TV screen with an image. All right, so I have this other image open here in Photoshop. It's the front image of the house that I shot of this house. A lot of photographers that use this method for using an image replacement on the TV screen will use the front image of the house or something like that to tie it all together. So that's a popular choice. So let's use this image and put it in the TV screen. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to command click on this layer so it selects the whole layer and I'm just gonna command X and cut this image and I'm just gonna paste it into our TV image here. 
So now we have that. I'm just gonna back out here. And just so we can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna lower the opacity here so we can see where, where we're working here. And I'm going to Command T and just transform this. I just wanna get this down to somewhere in the neighborhood of the size of this TV. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to go to edit, transform, and go to distort. So that will let you, you know, move each corner independently. So I'm just gonna zoom in here all the way into this TV so we can get this in accurately. And I just going to place these corners in the TV frame where they need to go. So that way it will match the TV screen. All right, so now I got my image positioned where I want it to be. I'm just gonna hit enter. Now I'm just gonna bring the opacity back up. So now we see we have the image imposed onto the uh, TV screen here. It is a little bright. You could, again, bring the opacity down on this a little bit. Kind of mix it in with the TV screen behind it, just to darken it up a little bit, not make it so glaring. You can see what I mean by this, that, you know, it's kind of distracting. It brings the viewer, brings the viewer's eye into the TV here, which, you know, it's not really our goal here. They want to more look at the room than the TV screen, but you know, that's why I'm not a big fan of this approach. It's a preference thing. It's just not my preference. I'm not knocking anybody that does this method. It's just not, it's just not my favorite way to do it. Like I said, I'm much more a bigger fan of the gradient. All right guys, so that's really all there is to it, to replacing a TV screen with a gradient or an image. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and I really appreciate your support. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one.